بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از ولید نیاز اینڈ آئی ایم فرام ڈپارٹمنٹ آف الیکٹریکل اینڈ کمپیوٹر انجینئرنگ کامسٹ یونیورسٹی اسلام آباد وا کیمپس مائی ٹاپک از مائنورٹیز ان پاکستان فسٹ آف آل وی ہیو ٹو نو وٹ از اے مائنورٹی سو ان پریکٹس مائنورٹیز آر اتنک ریلیجیس اور لنگوسٹک گروپس living among a majority groups in considerable and justified fear of persecution. Let's take an example. Jews and Gypsies in Europe are considered as minority. Blacks and Asians in America are considered as a minority. Every year on August 11, Pakistan officially observed the National Minority Day to honor the service and sacrifices rendered by religious minorities for the country over the years. This very day also recognized the contribution sacrifices of minority in creation of Pakistan and national building. The constitution of Pakistan guarantees fundamental rights including equality of status, of opportunity and before law, social, economics and political justice, and freedom of thoughts, expression, beliefs, faith, worship, and association subject to the law and public morality to its citizens. As Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah, our founder, uh, father of our country, has addressed to the Constitution Assembly of Pakistan on 11 August 1947, You are free. You are free to go to your temples, you are free to go to your mosque or to any other places of worship in the state of Pakistan. You may belong to any religion, caste or creed that has nothing to do with the business of the state. Pakistan is a country of various culture, ethnic, religions, sects and subsects. According to 1998 census, religious minority include Christians 1.59%, Ahmadis 0.22%, Hindus 1.6%, Shias and the remaining are Shias, Ismailis, Bohras, Parsis and Sikhs. As we know, Pakistan was created on the principle of a democratic nation uh, which would ensure that everyone has the right to take part in the government of its country directly or indirectly or through freely chosen representatives. Pakistan's founder Muhammad Ali Jinnah demonstrated this belief when he appointed Sir Zafarullah Chaudhry and Ahmadi, who was also the author of the Lahore Resolution in 1940 as Pakistan's first foreign secretary. Ethnic minorities. So, ethnic minority includes Sindhis 14.1%, Pashtuns, Pakhtun, or so-called Pakhtuns 15.42%, and Mohajir 7.57%, Baluchis 3.57%. As ethnic minority based on different uh, national or cultural tradition from the main population, every citizen of Pakistan nowadays is bullied and disrespected in the neighboring con- communities. Whenever, uh, I mean to say, whenever someone, uh, if a Pashtun goes to Punjab or a Punjabi goes to Pakhtunkhwa, he is being discriminated and has been looked in a different way, as if a wild animal has been come up from a zoo or a jungle. So, let's take uh, an example of a Pashtun. If a Pashtun goes to some well-educated community of other culture, then he is being considered like a jahil or a Taliban or some some of them call him a gay, he, he then start feeling like a minority in that environment which is a very ill response by a Pakistani to its other countrymen. So same is the case with also uh, other Punjabis and Sindhis and uh, Balochis. If they come to, to the uh, respected part of the uh, country, they feel uh, the same uh, like, um, like a minority in that environment. So, same is the case uh, with the women in Pakistan. Uh, minorities, if uh, defined in terms of their relative political weight, could be constructed on the line of religion, gender, and geographic location. The largest such minority group within the country, ironically comprised of almost half the population, is women. They are still considered a minority in many parts of the country. They can't uh, go outside without... Uh, presence of a male. With them, they feel insecure in sitting in a taxi alone with an unknown person. If a lonely woman walks in the street, then a bunch of guys will never stop themselves without harassing her. 
thus she will start feeling like a minority in that in uh, that uh, in that environment which is also a very bad type of minority uh, we need to teach our sons the same lesson the lesson we teach our daughters we must tell our sons to respect a lady walking in a street instead of telling our women instead of telling our women to remain in homes women have also right to re, uh, rights to read and write just like a man this is the main reason that, uh, we are behind from the developed countries because we didn't change our poor mentality uh, mentality we must stop this culture of show off we must consider ourselves pakistanis instead of considering a punjabi a pakhtun sindhi or balochi we must think as a pakistani to help the brothers and to become a great developed nation and also we must uh, unite and provide opportunities uh, to our minorities sikhs uh, hindus and uh, uh, Jew, uh, sorry uh, christians and all other minorities which are in pakistan uh, so so that we can become a developed countries we must consider the minorities also the part of this country uh, country so that they can become a good pakistani and they should start loving the country so that was my topic uh, thank you so much for watching this video